Hello everyone, this is Destiny Hawkins with Vibra Designs and today's tutorial will be on how I created this book cover using GIMP. If you are new to GIMP, I recommend watching the first tutorial before starting here. You can find the link to the first tutorial below this video. Um, for those who are familiar with GIMP and are ready to get started, feel free to follow along. So we're going to go ahead and start with the blank canvas. For those who don't have it set up yet, go to File, New, Make the width 2000, the height 3000 pixels, go to advanced options, down to background color, click transparency, and then select OK. Since I already have that going, I'm not going to. I also already have my pictures here. I have the picture of the woman, and here I'm using the seeing eye tool. I have my creepy house, and I typed in like a horror texture a description, and this is what I got, and I like what came up for it, so... I'm going to start with the woman here and her eyes had color. They were yellow. So we're going to layer, new layer, and this is us changing the eye color. Select OK. Make sure that layer is above the character layer you have here, the model, and then make sure it's selected. Go to your mode and go to overlay. Click the paintbrush tool. I like to have it on hardness 075. This one's just too solid. I like the blur around the edges. Then go to your paint box and select the color you'd like to put in the eyes. If you don't want to change the eye color and you just want to brighten them, you can use white. <laughs> You just want to carefully select in the color of the eye. When you mess up, you can actually go to the zoom tool and just click inside. And you just work around it. All right, so we have the eyes. I'm going to use the zoom tool to zoom out. And now what I want to do is actually put the texture above her. So I'm going to select the texture, go to mode, and I had it on soft light. And then just adjust it to where you would like it to be. Okay, so after I did that, I used the house but I put the house on dodge. So I used the mode and I went to dodge. Take your size tool, your scale tool. Make the image the size you would like it to be. And then place it on the screen where you'd like it to go. I'm going to take the opacity down here. And then what I like to do is just make sure that there's no like hard edges. Like you can't see it, but I'm going to do it anyway. Right click, go to add layer mask. Make sure white is selected. Click add. Go to your gradient tool. Find FG to BG. Make sure it's from black to white. And then just click and drag. And what this does is just make it more transparent. You get to blend it in. That way it could have the illusion that it's behind her. Then you do the same thing with the bottom. Just making sure everything's blending smoothly. Now I made that house yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that the house is selected. Go to colors and color eyes. That brightness hurts my eyes. Ah. <laughs> and you don't have to choose yellow. You can choose any color. But I like that blend look, like how I have the house behind the texture. 
It just gives the, the picture this nice spooky look. I kind of want to use brightness and contrast on her, so I'm going to go to colors, brightness and contrast. Maybe brightness. Select OK. And now it is time to add the text. So I'm going to go to my text tool. I'm going to put in the text that I want to use, the font. Select the color you'd like to use. And then put your title. If you want to make sure everything is aligned, you select, you select the alignment tool, click on the text, and then align it where you would like it to go. And you go ahead and do the same thing for the author name. Now, just to make sure that we can see it, and this is by choice though, so I like to have that darkness down at the bottom. I don't know, it's just something that just makes my eyes happy. So, <laughs> but sometimes people want the entire picture to be bright and colorful in the same shade. Um, so my preference is to put those dark colors on there, just one, so that we can see the text, and two, because I don't mind that darkness at the bottom. Although there are some images that look really good without it. See, like this black down here just makes it look spookier to me. And I always love the black drag from the corner, how it fades from the corner out. I don't know, just little tricks that really catch my eye, so I figure it'll catch others. You can play with the text. All right, how I just did that was I selected the text tool, or the text. Go to Filters, Light and Shadow, Drop Shadow. To make it darker, you're going to drag the opacity, and you can see the shadow showing up under the text. Here we'll show where the shadow shows up. But I just drag it in closer just so that we can see the words clearer. All right, so that was the tutorial on how I created this book cover. I just had to make an adjustment because I just didn't like how it looked compared to the first one. So I went and made some changes so it could still pop. Now it looks way better to me now. Hope it looks better to you too. All right, everyone. That's it on how I created this book cover using GIMP. If you like the tutorial, please subscribe and I will be making more. So keep an eye out. You can check out more of my covers on VibrantDesignsCovers.com. I do create book covers for authors and myself. The link is below. And feel free to follow me on Instagram at the healthy underscore artist, where I post fun videos on how I create book covers as well. And my completed covers. Um, go ahead and check that out. I'll be around. <laughs>